Welcome back everybody. Halloween, it is right around the corner and the ghouls, the ghosts, the ghouls, ghouls, I said that right, right? Yeah. Yes. Ghosts and goblins will be hiding around every corner, lurking in the shadows. But have you ever wondered why so many of us actually like to be scared? Do you I like do it? I do not like to be scared. I it do feels like, like it. I'm having a mini heart attack. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Don't like it. But whether it's a scary <laughs> movie or a haunted house, the experts say the thrill and desire of getting creeped out is rooted deep inside your brain. We like to be scared for a lot of different reasons. I think the first thing that's important to think about is that the kind of uh, scared or frightened that we get when choosing to do something is very different than the, you know, than the terror and the real fear that we feel walking down a dark alley or experiencing something that is not of our choice. So the issue is that when we are afraid, the bodily reactions and some of neurotransmitters and chemicals in the brain which are triggered are similar to the ones that we and we are excited. So the fear system evolved hundreds of thousands of years ago to prepare us for real danger situations when we were living in the woods. Our current environment is too safe. So basically those fear experiences could also be a form of practice. What would I do? How would I do it if I were? Like when we are watching that movie, they're constantly problem solving. We are seeing ourselves in that position and say, okay, what would I do? Basically kind of preparing us for those conditions. I, I think of it much like, um, you know, play fighting or rough and tumble play when you're kids. You're, you're, you know, practicing play and in doing so, learning about your body, learning about your limits, learning what it feels like to be, you know, in those different types of, of, uh, of states. And so, you know, going through a haunted house can almost be a way of practicing fear, um, but then also with the guarantee that you're going to come out okay. <laughs> if you pay attention, we rarely do these scary experiences alone. You're like, hey friends, come let's watch this horror movie. Or let's go to the haunted house with a group of friends. So these are basically bonding experiences. High levels of emotions help us over bonding. People doing shared experiences that are, are very intense can sync up their heartbeats. I mean, it, it really is a bonding experience. It is healthy to get scared and we want to be able to get scared because that is what protects us in real serious dangerous situations. I don't need to be prepped <laughs> to be protected <laughs> in serious situations. Doctors say that fear can be a great motivator for good. Challenging yourself to face your fears can be a healthy way to proving to yourself that you are capable of things you may not have thought possible. Did you ever think scaring was that deep? It, no. No, I know. I'm learning a lot about it's it. It's deep, like, in my heart when it feels like it stopped. <laughs> I was just showing you guys. I went through a phase where I scared my wife, like, around every single corner. I have all the videos. I need to make, like, a compilation and post them. I vote do not. Oh, I vote. Do not. I vote I'm going to put it out there. She'll okay. hate me, but it's fine. All right.